when you're cruising, do you share the internet between a couple of different people in your cabin? Isn't it a pain in the butt having to swap back and forth uh, between who's logged in and who's not, or somebody logs in and kicks you out? Well, this cheap little device might be the solution. Coming up on the seven stupid seas. I'm Steve, and welcome to the Seven Stupid Seas with Steve. This little black box by RavPower is a combination device to set up a small local network and share internet and files. Of course, on a cruise ship, you're probably not going to share files, but this could give this thing other life later on, like at home. You can plug a hard drive into the built-in USB port and be able to share your photos and videos and everything else um, between the different users on the network connected to this. Of course, the uh, thing we're signing up for on this is its ability to share a wireless internet connection. So the way it works is you connect this to the wireless connection on the ship, and then you connect your phones to the Wi-Fi network this sets up. And so this device is what the network's seeing, so it won't keep asking you to uh, log in because you're using two different devices, you know, your phone, your wife's phone, or what have you. Now, I'm two weeks away from sailing on the Empress, so full disclosure, I have not yet tested this in the wild. I've only done some you know, testing on a home network to make sure everything works like it should. Um, and I maybe give you an update after the cruise. To configure the device, you download the app and then you plug this in. It's powered by a, a simple USB cable through this port. And then you log your phone into the wireless network this thing creates. And then you use the app to configure how it'll work. Um, so like I said, there's a few different modes. So in this case, you would set it to, you would connect this to the ship's wireless. So you go through those screens. And then once it connects to the ship's internet, it'll pass that internet through it, the own little network you created you used to sign in the app. So then you just sign in your other phone um, into this network. And you all have internet. Um, it basically disguises everything behind it. So ship just sees one device, this. A couple of caveats. First, this does not add a firewall or anything like that. So usual precautions when doing things like banking and everything else over a public network. Um, there are plenty of other videos on how to secure that, so I'll not go into that. The other thing is this is slow, okay? So don't expect to uh, jump on this and like, you know, have a family of four streaming stuff from Netflix all on each of their devices. It's not gonna work. Oh. The scenario I'm really talking about is if, you know, there's a couple of you in the room, you know, you both want to check email or Facebook at the same time without waiting in line to, you know, log in, log out. This, this is kind of where this shines. Um, let's face it, you want something to read in the bathroom. So um, you don't want, hey, get off Wi-Fi so I can go to the bathroom, right? So this kind of solves that without, so, you know, if you want to quickly share internet, um, this is a great device. It's not going to set the, you know, it's not going to break your wallet. Uh, prices vary. I picked this up on Amazon a couple of weeks ago, um, well under 30 bucks. I'll drop a link in the notes so that you can, um, you know, get one of your own if you're interested. Um, otherwise, um, you know, like and subscribe. All right, I'm Steve. I'm out of here. Going to get ready for my sailing on the Royal Caribbean's Empress of the Seas in two weeks. I'll be back later. I hope to have a ton, a ton, a ton of things to add to this channel when I get back, since this is uh, the inaugural launch and sort of test platform. So if you actually see this, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.